Hello there. Good morning, everyone. Today is July 25th. Now it's been one year exactly since I started making vlogs. And I was listening, and I had made a video before, about a week before, and I was like, damn, you know what, I'm gonna do that. Now simultaneously, I was also inspired by Casey Neistat with his uh, artistic style, right? You might be able to tell that. I never thought a year ago that videography and just YouTube would be such a powerful passion of mine. You know, it takes me about four or five, I spend sometimes six hours um, on one video, just editing it and getting everything right. But there's nothing more exciting to me, really, this is, this is true. There's really nothing more exciting in my life than having a bunch of edits come together into a beautiful montage of an event in my life and having music come in, making it fun, exciting. I try to make it slightly educational and uh, you know, I just hope you enjoy it because I love doing it. I love this. I love what I do. After finishing 48 vlogs in the past year and being able to reflect over uh, my life to a certain degree and be able to relive precious memories that I have such as going to Europe or, or meeting some nice friends, blah, 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 doing some cool stuff. I would highly encourage you watching this right now to take out your camera the next time that something cool happens. Don't Snapchat it. Just save it, throw it into iMovie when you get home, put them all together, put a little music behind it, and maybe upload it to YouTube or just send it to a couple friends that you care about a lot because Believe me guys, you won't regret it. Last week was spent with my friends and family in Long Beach Island on vacation, just chilling and relaxing. And it forced me to reflect on the priorities of my life. There was no exciting plane ride to get there. There was no rich history of the area. There were no elegant locals who spoke a beautifully different language. There was no extravagant museum to visit or uh, lavish shopping center to shop in. Quite frankly, in fact, there was nothing other than the beach, the house, Bay Village, and just amazing people to be with. Now, living in Switzerland, it's an honor to be able to travel Europe and experience some of the most famous places in the world. I visited 10 capital cities. I'm in Barcelona right now. We out here in Prague, yo. Entered some crazy churches. Smoked weed in Amsterdam. <laughs> Colin, this one is for you. And tried the most delicious chocolate in all of Switzerland, to name a couple things. I even saw the Northern Lights in Iceland and rode a gondola in Venice. But during my time in LBI with my friends and family, I was reminded that people are the most beautiful things in the world. Charming works of art will open up your imagination, but they won't make you shed a tear after the retelling of a poignant story. Famous monuments will make you proud of your country. Uh -huh. But they won't make you roar with laughter as you're bent over on the floor <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Ancient sculptures will question your understanding of humanity, but they won't take shots with you in the basement and hold your hair back as you pay your regards to the toilet. Many people have their attention called to material objects while they're traveling, as opposed to make an effort to meet local people. I would encourage anyone watching this video just to say hi to a rando sitting next to you or just making a weird face at someone and seeing what they, what they do, how they react. Material stuff can't do a lot of things. A 
people can. Material stuff can't dance with you. Or feed you food. Oh man. Oh fuck Or tell you a joke. Who's there? Orange. Orange you. Weren't you glad I didn't say banana? Or climb mountains with you. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the Western Fjords. Just check out the view. Yeah. Or sing for you. Now. Should we sing a song? Jeremiah was a bull for all. He was a good friend of mine. A bull for Never understood a single word he said, but I helped him to drink out his wine. We're go paddle boarding with you. Jump off cliffs with you. <laughs> or get drunk with you. I'm oh, sorry. You're not allowed to say sorry. I'm with Claire. <laughs> or approach hot women with you. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so how's it going? <laughs> I'm fine. Well, what's your name? Rafaela. Rafaela, are you a Czech citizen? Sorry, what? Are you a Czech citizen? No, I'm from Brazil. Oh, you're from Brazil. Or kiss you. Now, after a year of vlogging and being able to reflect over the past year of my life, I now understand what has contributed the most to my happiness. Just being weird with my friends. Really? Of me? Really, 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 really? No, yeah. Absolutely. Hit the photo, stop. Hey. Oh my god. Chilling on the roof here. Hey, you're hot, Ally. Fuck you, Evan. My interest for you is like eating chocolate. I can't get enough, and then once I'm done, I feel ashamed. This is not what it looks like. Bring, bring. It's fucking good, Colin. What up? What's fucking good, Evan? What up? <laughs> what up? Good morning. Who likes women with great personalities? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna sign off because I have a low battery and I'm Please getting do. a message. You got a low battery, another way. No. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to bump and grind all the night with Evan. It's going with the flow. It's true. I have herpes. You have a lot of subscribers. On my face. Let me ask you something. What matters the most in your life? thought deeply about it, I'm gonna guess your answer. It's probably friends and family. It's probably other humans around you. Now here's a follow-up question, and I've been fearful to ask this to myself until recently. Are you paying enough attention to what matters most in your life? What's up everyone? My name is Evan and today is a beautiful morning. I thought it would be a perfect time to do my first vlog.